Hey, what's up guys? We're doing a live demo today. I've never done a YouTube live, so this is going to be kind of interesting. Earlier this morning, I was playing around with some uh, AI stuff, and it's trippy. Like, it's amazing what it can do, but holy cow, it just, um, it's a little freaky, but you can just tell it's not you, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Anyways, um... Today we're going to be doing, oh, I should uh, probably focus this camera. Today we're going to be doing just uh, some really simple marbling. Um, because I, I, once again, like I've never done a YouTube live, so I want to see what it's like. And um, hopefully, oh look, hi from Ontario, Canada. Awesome, thank you for joining me. This is kind of exciting, you know, like it's... Um, I really want to spend a lot more time doing these live videos and stuff because the editing side of it is so hard, like it just takes so much time to record everything that I just don't have that time to do all of it. So I think maybe creating live videos might be easier because I'm able to um, just do it faster without having to have a lot of editing behind it. So who knows, we want to continue to pump out more. Um, content for sure and it's just something that takes time so as we figure it all out I hope you guys bear with us here it just um, yeah it's like I said it's gonna take some time and of course we all have our busy schedules and it doesn't make it any easier but um, you know, I've got two little girls, so they're constantly at school and, you know, picking them up and everything. It's pretty hard. But, you know, we want to dedicate that time to show you guys some videos and um, create a lot more content. So we've been doing a lot of stuff on Facebook recently, and now we're venturing out onto the Facebook, or I'm sorry, the YouTube side. Um, and so far, I'm kind of excited. You know, I want to see what happens with this and see if it uh, amounts to anything. And it might not. I really don't care. It's more of spreading that knowledge and sharing with people how to uh, do some of these elaborate designs and uh, just elevating the industry as a whole. Right? It's kind of one of those things that I've been doing uh, since I got into this field anyway. So through that education and stuff like that, I think... Um, you know, the whole salon industry really needs to elevate and it's been doing an amazing job. I mean, the type of artwork that we've seen lately and, you know, the quality of nails and cleanliness of salons have definitely gone up in the 20 years that I've done nails. So it's a huge difference, you know, from the early 2000s till now. Um, I think salons have really stepped it up and um, nail techs as well. You know, it takes, it's one of those things that certainly take time. Um, but, you know, having inspiration out there and having people create uh, beautiful looking salons and clean salons is, is what makes the difference, right? So here we just laid out a, a base color. I used um, number 17, My Heavenly Body. It's a really nice neutral color. And then I'm going to just create some really simple nail art here using this blue. I'm going to have it on, the, on my little palette there. This blue, in case you're wondering, is number 90, 95G and Oceanside View. And then, of course, I want to have um, Fresh Canvas, number one. Can you find my ombre brush? I had it. Oh, you know what? I think I have it right here. We weren't really totally prepared to do this live because we were goofing off doing other things. And then also just kind of like figuring it out along the way. So I think I might have gone live a little bit earlier. Um, that's not ombre. I might have gone live a little earlier um, on accident. And, uh, you know, I figured it out pretty soon was once I got my email saying like, hey, you're live, 
and uh, I wasn't live because I wasn't ready. I had no idea. So it's a learning progress. You know, it takes some time, but we'll get it eventually, like everything else in life. Okay. So here we've got the blue and the white, and I've got a nice little ombre brush, and I'm just going to do a quick little marbling here from one corner. Um, yes? For some reason it's doing the face tracker. Oh. Just randomly. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go from one corner off to the other. You can definitely change it up however you see fit. I just kind of like it. I think it looks um, really unique. And if you feel like it's too light, you can add a little bit more blue in there. All right. And you can even like break it up if you'd like. So let's say we got a little thing here. But then maybe this marbling, I don't know, splits off somewhere down here. I'm going to split it off right over here and then reconnect. So it just adds another little dimension to it. You don't want to play around with this too much because then you will um, just get a you know shade of blue rather than that marbling. So don't mix it too much or else you will just have a, a solid color at that point. From here you can play around with it. If you want to add more coloring to it you, you can. So I'm pretty much done with that. I'm going to remove any excess color that I have on my brush and go ahead and cure this. So you want to make sure that it is um, pretty thin. You don't want to have it too thick, right? If it's too thick, then the light won't cure it. So be sure to thin it down as you're creating that design. Can you change the camera to have my face on the bottom? Not that one. Wait, what the heck? Oh no. Oh, that camera's not working. Whatever. Okay. So now, what I want to do is I want to make it matte. I'm going to go in here, use the Gaudy Nails matte top coat, and this will go ahead and matte out everything, but it makes it so that the foil doesn't stick to the surrounding parts that I don't want it to stick to. All right, it'll only stick to wherever I put the foil gel. All so go ahead and brush that on. Start from the cuticle area, work your way down to the free edge. And there's like a little hair or something in here, but that's all right. We just go ahead and brush it out. Okay, let's go ahead and cure that. And as we're curing it, we can go ahead and prepare our palette with our foil gel. Okay, so I'm going to use that same palette I had before. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Bam. So we've got the foil gel. And then... I've just got like a a liner brush here. Striper brush. Load up my brush with the foil gel. I'm going to just outline this marbling. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not looking for, you know, perfect lines or anything like that. But I do want to just kind of outline it and do the same thing on the other side. You don't need to use too much, right? You want to have really thin coats. Just helps it uh, cure better. And with the foil gel, you do want to cure it for 60 seconds, okay? If we cure too short, it tends to not want to stick. And um, that seems to be where most people have the problem. They will cure it for 30 seconds and um, it just doesn't stay, right? It won't transfer the foil really well. Okay, 
So anyways, we can go ahead and cure this. All right, so we already ran into one technical difficulty. So that's part of uh, doing these live events, right? I think we, oh, we do have that. That camera's back. All right, so some reason we lost it a little earlier. It could be, you know, we just have janky wires or it could be, um, you know, it came loose somewhere on the camera or on the laptop side. But, you know, with, now as we continue to do more of these, I think we'll get better at it. Um, so there goes 30 seconds. We'll go back in, do another full uh, 60. I bought these foils on Amazon here. And um, I want to show it. So I bought these foils on Amazon. And uh, they, I feel like I got ripped off or something because these two, they came like short. Like they look less than the rest of them. Like they're just smaller. So I don't know if like, and I guess maybe that one too. And then it's like kind of ripped off on the side. So I don't know if it's supposed to come like that, but I feel like, like I got burned. They ripped me off somewhere in down the road there. Okay, I might just use this kind of rose gold looking one. Um, since I don't have any scissors lying around, I will go ahead and use my nippers here. Cut that. And we'll start here. Okay. So when we're doing the foils, it's pretty simple. If you have good foil gel, you'll notice that it transfers right away. Wherever you put it, it'll just go right there. And part of the reason why we did that mat to begin with is because if we didn't do that, it would um, start to stick on parts that we didn't want, right? So that looks pretty awesome. I think that looks really cool. All right, we can we can play around with this a few different ways. You can either leave it uh, matte by doing a whole matte or you could go gloss, right? I'm going to go ahead and make it all shiny. I prefer shiny things, I feel like. But definitely there's a high percentage of people that like matte as well. And you can toy around with it. Maybe you want to get creative and maybe only make certain parts of it glossy and leave some of it matte right there's just so many ways you could go about it okay we'll go ahead and do this and i will let it kind of self level as well okay so not to waste anyone's time we'll go ahead and Social media is a challenge. Yeah, Kathy, you're <laughs> you're right. I am not a big fan of social media. I, I never really go on there. I uh, but I really see the benefits of it. Like I really want to incorporate it a lot more. It's just it's just difficult, you know. Like we have our own lives, our own businesses, and uh, you know everything that goes on. And um, yeah, we just try to make the most of it. Um, but for me, it's more of talking into a camera. I am much more comfortable talking to people, you know, on, uh, in real life rather than into a camera. For me, it's just like really awkward. Um, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. I think it's still getting some used to, uh, but yeah, here we go. That's what we, um, is what we created right here. So I think it looks pretty cool. I think um, if you were to offer this in the salon, it would look really awesome. It's pretty easy for anyone to use and do. Uh, the products are pretty basic and simple. Um, majority of the products you can find on GaudiNails.com. The only thing that's going to be missing is the foil gel. So this was uh, our first attempt at doing a YouTube Live. Um, so I'm excited to keep this rolling and you know continue to do it. Uh, give us a thumbs up, I guess. Maybe follow the channel. I have no idea how these uh, YouTube lives work. You know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see next. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Kathy. Anyone else that was watching live, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video.